Hey everyone, welcome back to the Poplar Report. Uh, we are coming to you from Pittsburgh with reports of what's going on at the Walmart, all the th shopping in this area, what seems to be missing, what seems to be in stock. We're going to get that right to you. Let's get right into the pictures. Like previous weeks, uh, frozen foods, we continue to have issues in frozen breads, um, frozen bagels, um, all the, the weird snacks and treats and stuff like that that you have in the frozen food section. Um, just holes here, holes there. When it comes to the frozen potatoes, of course, whole uh, varieties just gone. Um, you just can't get certain types of frozen potatoes that you want, particularly the uh, generic brands, the cheaper things on the spectrum. Um, just... I mean, that's been going on for a bit, too. It's it's a little worse than, than what it has been um, in a couple weeks. But um, frozen vegetables, holes here and there, by and large, you can get what you want. Generic brands, of course, going first, the, the great value. Um, certain kinds, certain varieties, you know, you're just not going to get what you want. Uh, you might have to pay extra for a name brand or something like that. The T section seemed to be particularly hard hit, but as we're going to see, it, it seems like a lot of people have the flu or cold right now, so um, it makes sense that people are stocking up on tea uh, because they got, you know, they're sick, basically. Uh, coffee uh, continue continues to be not fully stocked, but... Um, unless you want Folgers, you generally can get what you want. Uh, generic's a little touchy there, there too. Uh, the peanut butter section, a lot of holes again. Um, there really shouldn't be this many holes all across the peanut butter, but uh, no real reason out there for why there would be a peanut butter uh, shortage that I know of. Um, the factories making peanut butter are back online and everything. Uh, cornmeal... And a little bit of um, uh, vegetable oils, you know, got some gaps there. That's the uh, in the Hispanic section. Vinegar continues to be an issue. We're seeing that all across the United States. And for the last number of months, vinegar continues to be an issue. Um, I've been told that a lot of the vinegar actually um, comes from uh, comes from China, um, but. Uh, I, I haven't been able to source all that stuff, but uh, apparently a bunch of the apples get used uh, for, to make vinegar. But then I, I would have thought that was apple cider vinegar, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, olives. We had some bad harvests of olives in Spain and, and uh, Italy, so that makes sense. We've been kind of keeping an eye on that. Uh, still, Still plenty on stock, so if you want... Um, most kinds you can still get and most of, uh, of the generics are still in stock, but there's certain varieties that you can't get because they're just out of stock. You can see those holes for yourself. Now this was this was the most uh, unnerving. Uh, last week we saw that they were very low on canned chicken and then I heard from a bunch of you guys about canned chicken being low in your area too. And here we are. The plant-based meats seem to be well in stock, but uh, canned chicken, not so much. Uh, there's there's a few cans left down at the bottom for the multi-packs, and then uh, then there's a couple of you know individual cans and stuff like that. But uh, those are the small cans. That's uh, that's a little uh, little less than what we're used to seeing, and also you're seeing upper shelves kind of picked over there too. Uh, Keystone meats. There's some Keystone chicken, but that's that's about it. Um, soy sauces seem to be pretty hard hit, but um, from this angle, you can actually see there's some more soy sauce back there in the back of that shelf. So uh, I'm not sure if that's an issue just yet. Uh, boxed mashed potatoes, definitely an issue, and that was uh, that was one of the cheaper ways to kind of stock up if. Uh, you know, if you don't want to buy those big expensive food buckets, um, you can kind of make instant food yourself with the, you know, instant mashed potatoes. Uh, pour that into, you know, uh, canning jars or 
um, some other way of sealing it up or vacuum sealing it and uh, it keeps for quite a while and you just pull that out of the package dump it in some boiling water and poof you got to get yourself a meal um, but uh, when it comes to the packages of instant mashed potatoes the generics have been um, pretty scarce and as you can see that's the case again there's a couple packages of uh, of baked um, that is uh, down there but you know not what we're used to seeing it's just all name brand stuff and of course that's uh, that's kind of pricey holes in the ravioli and such and uh, yeah some of the canned meats and stuff like that across the across the aisles are being hit gaps in the mac and cheese still uh, someone's paying for all that space and they haven't been using it the last weeks um, I don't know if it's been months yet but uh, th th why they have a gap like that that somebody's paying for and nobody's putting stuff on it it's just beyond me um, that's not how you run a business uh, spaghetti sauces um, definitely a lot less than what you you'd normally see and then also uh, the generic brands the great value organic and great value uh, spaghetti sauces are kind of missing in action pastas have whole rows empty but uh, generally speaking you can kind of get most of what you need there's certain varieties that are just out so uh, if you want to uh, fettuccine uh, I believe you're kind of out of luck there. Um, I don't want to go through all of it, but uh, but you can get your bow ties. Uh, you can't get your multi-color uh, noodles. I get those f a fair bit for pasta salads. But, yeah, so there's pasta. It just may not be in the right shape for you. Um, I am... I'm concerned that uh, people are going to start waking up and starting to panic, so I'm keeping a closer eye on the ramen uh, noodle section. Uh, there's uh, been a bunch purchased, but it's not not like panic buying levels yet. So uh, that's our panic gauge, and it's not uh, indicating panic at this point. Uh, egg noodles, other noodles, you can see that they're in short supply too. Flour, fairly well stocked. A lot of generic. Um, some holes, but not too bad. Now, this is new. They put it in all these racks. Before, it was like where they put the pallet, uh, pallets underneath here with bottles. I don't know if that's to hide if they get short or if it's or what, what's going on with it. This, these are more convenient, much more nice. Uh, you know, I guess if you want to buy like a package of two or three bottles um, that's more convenient to have them in a, in a carton but they were still selling them individually they just had them you know unbox your own kind of thing here uh, this is this is handy uh, as long as somebody doesn't pull one out and then try to return it because you can't really push it you know a lot of people can't push all that back uh, eggs in stock, uh, not as much choices as you would like, and of course the prices are yikesers. Um, 378. Ouch. Slightly cheaper at Aldi right now. So um, I was surprised by that. Uh, that has not been the way it's been in the past couple weeks, but that's the way it was uh, uh, today. Um, milk. It's it's in stock. Not as fully as we would like, probably, but uh, uh, creamers, more or less stocked. Some of you guys have been saying that half and half is out in your area. There's half and half here. So um, butter butter continues to be a bit of an issue. We're, we're seeing that butter, uh, particularly generic butter, is usually in pretty low supply. Aldi was having a, a, a lot of problems with that, and now it looks like Walmart's having problems with butter as well. Uh, cream, sour cream, uh, dips, that kind of stuff, you know, about 50% stocked. It's, it's picked over, but it's, it's still in stock. Why there's carnation, uh, instant milk there. Um, uh, no idea about that. Someone put that there, I guess. Uh, so low price of $3 a pound for chicken breasts. Uh, I don't know about you, but that's just like, 
that's not a low price. That's not a low price, folks. This was one of the more concerning things last week, and it continues to be this week. Uh, vegetable oils are drawn down pretty significantly, and that's that's not the way it should be on that. Also, ketchups and other tomato products continue to be struggling a little bit. Um, this is not too bad. Uh, again, from this angle, I can see back into the into the recesses a little bit more and see that there's uh, more ketchup back up in there that wasn't quite visible uh, from walking past. But uh, so not as bad as I thought it was. But um, I checked the uh, baby formula section here in Pittsburgh and seemed to be fairly well stocked. Um, I don't use this product. I haven't used this product for many years. So if I'm missing something, um, clue me in on that. Um, I'm not saying that it's like that everywhere, of course. But um, I, I took a quick gander at the, uh, the toilet paper section. Fairly well stocked. You know, again, it's, there's some holes. Now, tissues. Tissues were down. There's a lot of holes in tissues. Once again, I think because people are kind of uh, sick with the flu and stuff. Uh, we got uh, cat food is down significantly, way down still. A lot of you guys have been, guys have been complaining about this. It hasn't gotten better. Dog food actually looked fairly well stocked, though. Except for this section. and But I, I, I gathered it was like this fancy dog food, so... Seem to be all one brand. And then uh, in the cold section, of course, just issues with the cough syrups and Mucinex and all that kind of stuff. Just not good. I, I was trying to get some cough drops. Uh, I, I shouldn't let the cat out of the bag until I pick them up. But uh, Equate has a, a, a honey uh, cough drop that's actually quite good. My mom actually, uh, back at Christmas when, you know, I had a... Uh, I needed to make sure I wasn't coughing after my surgery. Um, she uh, she pulled out a bag of those, and they're they're cheap, and uh, they're actually quite tasty. And I don't know, maybe they're healthy, but uh, they sure work too. So they're a lot tastier than most of those cough drops, which taste terrible. Uh, so uh, if you, but they were out of stock of those, so that, that was kind of disappointing. But overall, the cough drop section, as you can see, you, you can get some things. You just may not get the ones that you want. Over at Aldi, 367. Look at that. 10 cents cheaper. Good way to go, Aldi. You're back on track. Mostly well stocked at Aldi. Most things were pretty good. They had a few things like some canned peppers and some canned stuff uh, in the Hispanic foods and. The frozen potatoes to be seem to be fairly well stocked, but looks like they've taken over some of the section with uh, with some seafood, but or mac and cheese up there that used to be frozen potatoes. Uh, but the the meat canned meat section looked to uh, be fairly well filled. They have the canned chicken, they have the canned hams, they have the luncheon meats, they have which is the generic spam. Um, they even have corned beef hash. So, doing pretty good there. Uh, for some reason, they were out of black beans, but they had most other type of beans there. So, you know, fairly well stocked. All right, folks, uh, if you guys want to send in your reports to share with other people, uh, just email them directly to me at poplarpreparedness at gmail.com or type them up in any video. Just use the word update, give us a location, and let us know what's missing on your store shelves in your area. Thanks so much for watching. There's another video right up on the screen uh, that uh, YouTube thinks you might be interested in from me. I'll see you over there, or I'll see you later. Steve Poplar, out.